from fires to floods, from avalanches to rock slides. During severe weather events and throughout any traffic incident, the Colorado Department of Transportation's Traffic Operations Centers are the heartbeat of real-time response and active management of incidents along the state roadway system. Hi, my name is Ryan Tyler, and I'm the manager of real-time operations for the Colorado Department of Transportation. CDOT has four traffic operations centers that monitor the roadways for incidents, weather events, and then coordinate real-time response. Located in Pueblo, Golden, the Eisenhower Johnson Memorial Tunnels, and the Hanging Lake Tunnels near Glenwood Springs, each center provides services tailored for that particular area of the state. In this video, we're gonna give you a tour of all four centers. But first, let's talk about the overall purpose of CDOT's real-time operations branch. CDOT's traffic operations centers have three main areas of focus, incident and event management, public messaging, and active traffic management. The operation centers bring together state, county, and municipal first responders for unified response to anything that affects the safety and mobility of travelers on Colorado's highways. CDOT's four centers combined respond to and collect data from an average of 23,000 events a year statewide. This streamlined communication and collaboration enables safe and quick clearance of anything that impedes travel, and in turn, Traffic flow will return to normal sooner and thereby reducing the chances of a secondary crash. This work requires constant vigilance. Our traffic management operators monitor real-time feeds from more than 350 streaming cameras, 60 weather stations, and maintain radio contact with our safety partners, maintenance patrols, and safety patrol. This coordination enables early detection of an incident which means faster responses and reduced time interrupting traffic. The operation centers also provide Colorado travelers with the best and latest information available. Our public messaging products help travelers make the safest decision before hitting the road. Know before you go is not just a slogan. A well-informed traveler is a safer traveler. The centers use overhead variable message signs cotrip.org, subscriber texts and emails, 511 traveler information, and social media to provide travelers with real-time status of roads statewide. In just one year alone, cotrip.org had 17 million site visits. In times and areas of high traffic volume and congestion, the operations centers employ active traffic management to help ease the impacts. This includes on-ramp traffic metering along I-70 in the mountains and in the Denver metropolitan area, and continuous flow metering used at the Eisenhower Tunnel. We've covered the similarities amongst all four traffic operation centers, so let's dive into each specific center. First, let's head to the Traffic Operations Center, known as the TOC, in Golden. Hello and welcome to the Golden Traffic Operations Center. My name is Rod Mead. I am the operations manager for the daytime here in our facility. And I'd really like to show you something I'm very, very proud of, and that's Colorado's flagship operations center. This center has grown and evolved a lot over the last, oh, <laughs> we started in 1994, so it's been a long time, and we've really grown into something really great. Like other centers, we do dispatch for our regional maintenance. Uh, we do dispatch for our incident command units. We also, seven days a week, do dispatch for our Curtis Patrol. Of course, the backbone of what we do here, traveler information, we're always at the, the tip of the spear for real-time traveler information. We also do a lot of monitoring, 24 hours a day, of most of the roadways, not just around the metro and along the Front Range, but really all across the state. So one of the things that's really unique about this center is the fact that we're co-located with other transportation partners. It's not just CDOT in here. The very front row between our two dispatch centers, we have Highway 36 operations. The road between Denver and Boulder also monitored most of the week to make sure that that's flowing correctly. 
On the other side of the room are a group from the Central 70 Project as they are monitoring the construction of that really the lifeblood of east-west travel through Denver and the metropolitan area. So they're here making sure everything in that construction zone is running really, really well. Newly added to our family here is group for the express lanes. So we have a group of individuals that are working in here making sure that all those toll lanes and all the equipment and infrastructure associated with them is working correctly. So having all these individuals in the same location allows for really smooth integration when the unexpected happens on our roadways. The Traffic Operations Center in Golden is the anchor of CDOT's statewide operations effort. It was the first of CDOT's op centers and moved into its current space in 2005. Using technologies such as cameras, fiber optics, incident detection, and active traffic management, the Golden TOC monitors Colorado's busiest roadways. Each month, this center responds to an average of more than 750 events and road impacts in Denver and the Northern Front Range. From debris cleanup to stalled vehicles, to major traffic crashes and closures. With the addition of express lanes on metro area highways, the Golden TOC has undertaken 24-7 monitoring and traffic management of these facilities. Although the center's primary focus is the Denver metropolitan area and the Front Range, it provides guidance and assistance to all CDOT operations centers. During critical closures and weather events, the TOC acts as the emergency operations center for all of CDOT. Let's move west now to the highest point on the U.S. interstate system, the Eisenhower Johnson Memorial Tunnels. Straddling the Continental Divide at 11,000 feet, EJMT is home to the I-70 Mountain Corridors Joint Operations Center. Hi, my name is Fritz Homan, and I am the I-70 Mountain Corridors Operations Manager here at the Eisenhower Johnson Memorial Tunnels. Interstate 70 is a critical route. It is an artery for freight, vacationers, and, and locals alike. We help keep necessary goods and commerce moving by working with I-70 stakeholders. We are a safety enhancer with our comprehensive situational awareness that is provided to our responders. Situational awareness. Behind me is the I-70 Mountain Corridor from Dotsero in the upper left-hand corner all the way down to C-470 in the lower right-hand corner. And then over here, the Eisenhower Johnson Memorial Tunnels. Interior shots of both tunnels and it's monitored 24-7 portal to portal to ensure the safety of our travelers. Now, situational awareness is the key, but beyond that, there is the unified approach we have with state, county, and municipal responders. By working together, we achieve safe and quick clearance of crashes and other roadway hazards on this corridor. This is the I-70 Mountain Corridor's Joint Operations Center. The Joint Operations Center monitors the I-70 Mountain Corridor, US-6 Loveland Pass, and Clear Creek Canyon, as well as other state and federal roads that feed into I-70. Of course, in the winter, there is snow. This means getting the information out about chain laws for commercial vehicles and traction laws for passenger vehicles to increase safety on the corridor. The I-70 Joint Operations Center publishes these restrictions using all communication platforms as well as coordinating with freight and other stakeholders. This gives as many drivers as possible the chance to make the safest equipment decisions when they travel into the Rocky Mountains. Continuing our journey west, let's visit the Hanging Lake Tunnels Operations Center located in Glenwood Canyon near Glenwood Springs. Hello, my name is Trevor Allen. I'm the LTC Ops here at Hanging Lake Tunnel, which we also call HLT. Uh, right now you're in the Cinnamon Creek Complex here at the Cinnamon Creek Complex parking area. This is where we have like a lot of our response vehicles and stuff for dispatching. Uh, as you can kind of see behind me some of them. So one of our uh, things that we do here uh, we definitely monitor the, for the fire life safety, uh, for mainly for the tunnels and then also for Glenwood Canyon. Uh, we also do dispatching for the Western Slope and also down in the San Luis Valley here in Colorado around Alamosa area. Uh, one of the things that we, fun facts that we kind of have here is a lot of people don't know, but you actually are inside of a building that is in between two mountains. So whenever you're driving either east or westbound, you come through the tunnels and you enter into a mountain and then you come through a building 
and then another mountain. So that's one of kind of the fun facts that you don't know when you're driving because you're just in one continuous tunnel. So this kind of give you an idea. Uh, if you'd like to come with me, let's come and try to see our operational center. The operations center at Hanging Lake Tunnel focuses on much of Colorado's western slope. Operators dispatch crews to provide rapid response in Glenwood Canyon and west, monitor for any obstructions, and often help stranded mountain travelers get to safety. They maintain safety in the tunnel and provide dispatching for three separate CDOT maintenance sections, all while keeping the public and fellow responders informed on the status of the road. Our final stop is CDOT's newest center, the Joint Operations Center in Pueblo. Hello, I am Amanda Alvarado, Operations Manager for the Joint Operations Center here in Pueblo. One unique feature of this center is that we are co-located with one of Colorado State Patrol's regional communication centers. We are the only traffic operations center in the state to be co-located with law enforcement and one of a growing few in the country. This center handles 28 counties in the eastern portion of the state. We handle everything one-stop shop that's traffic related or highway needs. On the CSP side, they dispatch for law enforcement, wildlife, and they also call for fire and medical. And on the TOC side, we handle dispatching maintenance and safety patrol crews for debris, crashes, traffic control, and other hazards. We monitor weather and construction projects, and we also handle public messaging. Let's take a look around. The Joint Operations Center in Pueblo is the operations center model of the future. The benefit of co-location with CSP is information flow that is much faster, making interagency coordination more efficient and often resulting in faster response and quicker clearance for incidents. Through proactive camera monitoring, the center can provide windshield reports to first responders, giving vital real-time updates as they respond to a scene. Pueblo operators can patch responders from various agencies together on their radio channels, allowing them to better coordinate. CDOT and CSP real-time operations, located in the same room, allows for seamless teamwork and makes interagency communication more efficient. This coordination has helped in the successful apprehension of drunk or hit-and-run drivers, more efficient scene approach, and improved responder safety. Lastly, the operations centers have a contracted fleet of safety patrol and heavy tow assets dedicated to safe and quick clearance of damaged or broken down vehicles in the metropolitan areas and the I-70 mountain corridor. Safety patrols specialize in pulling disabled vehicles to a safe haven, such as the next exit, or relocating non-drivable vehicles on flatbed tow trucks. Safety patrol can also provide a gallon of fuel, fix flat tires, add coolant, and provide other minor services to assist drivers in a pinch. In partnership with Colorado State Patrol and all our other partner agencies, CDOT continues to forward the goals of traffic incident management. Technology is improving, but ultimately, it is our team of operators and those in the field that make all this happen. Professional, vigilant, and committed, this team understands and is dedicated to their role in making Colorado highways safer for everyone. 10-4 all, we headed that way.